This is my unboxing and first look at the E-Tech City uh, Power Bank Lantern. This has a model number of CL20. Let's take a look around the box. You have a unit right there. And we got uh, omnidirectional illumination, collapsible design, power bank, uh, rechargeable via uh, micro USB. You've got a red light uh, and a flashing mode with emergency light. Um, you've got a 615 um, LED bulb, so this, this should be pretty bright, and six uh, red LED bulbs. And then you got two uh, lithium batteries in this unit, and you can charge or use the unit with an optional three AA batteries. And it's got a water grade of IP. Uh, X5. So I believe what that is is a rating of you can splash this device with water, but you can't submerge it. All right. So get your manual here. All right. You got a two-sided clip. This would be to hang the unit, and you got a micro USB. All right. So take a look around the unit here. We got the branding logo of eTech City. Uh, we've got a button. And we've got our micro USB input. And I'm guessing this is your uh, standard USB output to charge your device. So, get your two ends here, which you'd use to hang the device, like so. And then you'd hang this off of a, a tent or something. Okay. Okay, so this would be where you'd put your three AA batteries. Okay. So this is this is where your rechargeable uh, lithium battery, or yeah, uh, 2200 milliamp batteries live here and then you got this tag here uh, so that they aren't activated until you're ready okay they both go in one direction okay let's go ahead and open it up I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Shut off the light here. All right, so you got uh, your white light here, and then you've got a uh, your button, which is a, uh, a nice uh, silicone covered push button. It's blue illuminated. So if I press it, okay, it starts to uh, bring the illumination down. Okay, so you have a two step. Uh, you have the lower illumination white, high illumination white, and here is your red level here. And there's your flashers for emergency. All right. Okay. Sits pretty nice and tight. Uh, so when you push it in, there's a good amount of push. There's no spring activation in this, it feels like. Just, and then when it closes, there's no secured clip to keep this closed so you technically could it's not going to come loose on you but it could but it feels pretty secure I mean, it's not coming going anywhere unless you really hit it pretty hard so so overall this uh, unit feels really nice and stable I don't know if this is uh, metal I think this is actually plastic this uh, silver here so what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and hook this unit up and see if I can charge something off of it with just the uh, with just the rechargeable batteries. Yeah, so it's uh, started charging my phone right off of that. Good deal. So, uh, so 2,200 milliamp batteries. That's the to uh, times two. So you got a uh, total of 4,400 milliamp battery uh, life. So uh, let's take this for instance. I believe um, uh, the Samsung device is around, yeah, 25 milliamp, 
2500 milliamp or so so it should get one charge plus you should have light to spare i am noticing it's giving me a message here uh, the charger uh, will take longer to charge to charge faster you'll need to use the original uh, cable so uh, i don't have that with me right now but i do have a fast cable that should be full powered So let's try let's try this cable. So it's charging again. I'm curious if it's gonna give me that message. And if it does, it does mean that you're gonna charge the device no matter what, but it will just go and trickle charge it. And I don't seem to be getting that message. So it looks like that was due to the cable itself. Um, so uh, you'll want to use your original cable, I guess, if, you know, for uh, devices like cell phones and such. So the other option with this is to use uh, three AAA batteries. So let's go ahead and try that. And give it a good test here. I'm actually going to remove these batteries. So let's say they're... Uh, they're dead. All right, so. Okay. Yeah, there we go. It's working without, uh, without those batteries. Oh, I, I don't think this will work, uh, but uh, let's give it a shot. Let's try charging my phone with three AAA. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. All right, so the charging ability only works with the rechargeable batteries. It does not work uh, when you use your, uh, your own AAA batteries. All right, and just for a full test, let's just leave these batteries in, okay? Still works with both pairs of batteries in. And one more charge. There it goes, it's charging with that. So um, one thing to note is I, I was reading up on this device and uh, it, it uh, stated very clearly, you do not want to charge this device uh, while you have the AAA batteries uh, inserted. So when you're ready to actually charge this device by using the micro USB, um, make sure to remove these batteries and uh, it's probably for safety concerns. So yeah, you'll just wanna make sure that uh, this is empty before you charge it up. So if you have any questions on this device, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.